Right. Now we're going to come back and go over 45, 45, 90 triangles again. This way, the opposite way around. Okay, so what we did in the previous video, you just remember, was that simple. Given the leg, whatever the leg is, the other leg is the same. The hypotenuse is the leg times root 2. 3, 3, 3 to root 2. 12, 12, 12 to root of 2. If you and if your um, if your leg had a root in it, then you just multiplied use the, the principles of uh, algebra. You know, three root five, three root five, three root five times root two is three root ten. Seven root two, seven root two, seven root two times root two, seven root four, seven times two or fourteen, so on and so forth. So, so in general, what we had said, okay was in a 45 45 90 format x x x root 2 x x x root 2 9 9 9 root 2 so on and so forth so so in general we come down here again x x x root 2 said said if you had the leg and you wanted the hypotenuse okay if you had the leg and you wanted the hypotenuse you multiply by the square root of 2 if you had the leg and you wanted the hypotenuse, you multiply by the root of 2. Well, what do you think if you have the hypotenuse and you want the leg? Look at everything that we did, okay? 87 root 2, 87 and 87, right? Okay? 15 root 2, 15 and 15. 8 root 2, 8 and 8. So, you're going the other way around now. If you're given... The hypotenuse, if you're given the hypotenuse and you want the leg, then you're going to divide by the square root of 2. And that will give you the leg. So, if this is 18 to root of 2, and it's a 45, 45, 90, you know, because you have the same legs are equal, then you divide by root 2. 18 divided by root 2 just gives you 18 and 18, you know, 57 to root of 2, just divide by root of 2, and you get 57 and 57. Again, provided it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, okay? 17 to root of 6, uh-oh, 17 to root of 6. I said I have to divide by the root 2. Well, remember... The, the, the uh, quotient of the root is the root of the quotient. So that's 17 divided by 6 over 2 inside the square root, which is going to give you what? 17 the root of 3. 17 the root of 3. 17 the root of 3, right? Okay. What about here? Again, divide by root 2. When given the hypotenuse... When given hypotenuse, 13 the root of 2, divide by the root of 2, 13 and 13. 10, uh-oh, divide by root of 2. Divide by root of 2. Now, we recall something in algebra that said no radical in the denominator. No radical in the denominator. What do I do there? I can't divide 10 by root 2 because one has the root and the other doesn't. So I have to do what we call rationalizing. Multiply by 1 in the form of the denominator over itself, right? You should remember that 10 root 2 over root 2 times root 2, which becomes what? 10 root 2 over 2, which becomes 5 root 2. 5 root 2. What about this one? The side is now 20. Uh-oh, I need the leg. I... I go back, I have hypotenuse, divide by root 2. Divide by root 2. Can't divide root 2 into 20? Rationalize. Multiply by root 2 over root 2. Giving you 20 root 2, I'm sorry, 20 uh, root 2 over 2, which is 10 root 2. 10 root 2. Okay? Continue. This side is now square root, there we go, play trick on it, square root 8. 
Oh, then this side, that's the hypotenuse of square root 8. So divide by root 2. Well, you can do that division because then bring them together as one root, 8 over 2. 8 over 2, of course, is root 4. No sense in having root 4 in there. It's 2. 2, 2, and square root of 8. All right? Here is the hypotenuse now. What's the hypotenuse? I don't know. 16. What do we do to get the leg? Divide by root 2. Can't do that. Rationalize. Root 2 over root 2. You multiply. Which gives you what? 16 over root 2. I mean 16 root 2 over 2, which is 8 root 2. 8 root 2. 8 root 2. Right? Here's this side. What's this side? 27. What do you have to do? Divide by root 2. Divide by root 2. 27 divided by root 2. Can't do it. Multiply by root 2 over root 2. What's that give you? 27 root 2 over 2. What's 27 root 2 over 2? 27 root 2 over 2. That's fine. Leave it that way. Or if you want, call 13 and a half root 2. It's perfectly all right, 27 over 2 root 2. Or 13.5 times root 2. Makes no difference to me. It's the same numbers, okay? What's this side? I don't know. 55. What I need to do? Divide by root 2. Can't do that. Laws of algebra say no radical in the denominator. Multiply by root 2 over root 2. What's that give you? 55 root 2 over 2. I don't like that. I don't care. That's the answer. 55 over 2 root 2. 55 over 2 root 2. That's the answer. That's the answer. Okay? There you go. Anytime you're given the hypotenuse, anytime you're given the hypotenuse, I don't care what it is. It's it's P. What do I do? Divide by root 2. What do I, well, I can't divide by root 2. Multiply by root 2 over root 2. What's that give you? Okay. P root 2 over 2. P root 2 over 2. P root 2 over 2. Divide by root 2. In any... 45, 45, 90 isosceles right triangle. When you have, okay, when you have the hypotenuse, P root 2, divide by root 2, that gives you P, that gives you P. Divide by root 2 to get the leg. Given the leg, you want the hypotenuse, multiply by root 2. Okay, that's it. Okay, so... Hypotenuse, hypotenuse given, and you want the leg, divide by root 2, and that will give you the leg. Leg given, and you want the hypotenuse, multiply by root 2, and that will give you the hypotenuse. Okay? That does it. All you got to remember in these isosceles right triangles, these 45, 45, 90 triangles, x, x, x root 2. That's the format. x, x, x root 2. x root 2, x, x, right? That's all you got to do is, that's the format right there. You remember that format, you're good to go. If you don't remember that, you always got Pythagoras. Always got Pythagoras, okay? It'll work every time for you. Not complicated. You just you just saw plenty of examples. So when you get the worksheets, you'll be able to sail right through them. Okay, good enough.